My name is Dr. Mike Fuller. I'm a sports medicine doc at Panorama. Today I want to talk about meniscus tears. When you are bouncing, running, jumping, doing any of those things, the meniscus absorbs shock so it protects your cartilage. The meniscus tear is when that shock absorber loses its ability to absorb shock. If it's torn, you can increase the stresses to your cartilage, which could potentially lead you towards arthritis. Meniscus tears occur from a variety of injuries. They can be chronic and degenerative, or they can be acute traumatic injuries. The acute traumatic injuries are usually the ones that are accompanied by swelling. Uh, the more chronic injuries are the ones that have a variable course where you could have swelling one day, feel better the next day, then hurt again the next day. And they're very tricky to treat because you don't always know where it's coming from. Uh, signs and symptoms of a meniscus tear can be anything from clicking and catching to a large swollen knee. Pain is generally involved, but you can have days where it doesn't hurt you at all. Meniscus tears are somewhat simple to repair. We, we do it through knee arthroscopy, which are two little poke holes in the skin. Occasionally we need a third or a little bit bigger incision to repair the tear, depending on the size of the tear. There's also little tiny tears that don't necessarily need to be repaired that we trim out and those are easier to recover from. Depending on the type of surgery that is required to fix your meniscus, either repair versus trimming, if it's repaired, you'll be on crutches for six weeks to protect that meniscus so it can heal. If it's trimmed, you can walk out of the hospital or surgery center and the recovery is two to six weeks. Typically, the swelling that, that accompanies the meniscus surgery is the limiting factor. So as the swelling goes down, your pain improves. Uh, to try to prevent meniscus tears, you really want to build good strength in your quad muscles, hamstrings, build good strength in your core. That can help prevent a meniscus tear in the first place.